السلام عليكم ورحمة الله. Hello everyone. Hello my lovely students in grade six. How we are doing great. This is me, Teacher Rahab Abdelmanan. Today we're gonna start first unit force and motion lesson one types of levers. Let's get started our session. Before we're gonna start, I would like to ask you a small question. Is it easy or hard to lift up like a heavy rock or even breaking the nuts? I think it's so hard. So how to perform this task easily? Like here guys, if you need to break this nut, I will need a tool like this one, a nutcracker. And here, when this man needs to move the heavy rock, he will use a crowbar. If I need to move some rocks from place to another, I will need a wheelbarrow. And here guys, when you need to cut a piece of paper or a piece of clothes, what you will use? Mm, you will use scissors. So we need helping tools to do these tasks easily. So man guys invented many simple machines to help him to perform these tasks easily. What are they? They are the levers. They are the levers. So let's know now who is the scientist who discovered the levers. The most common simple machines are levers that were first described in 260 before century by the Greek scientist Archimedes. Now let's move to know more about the lever. What is meant by the lever? The lever, guys, it's a rigid bar, maybe straight or curved, that rotates around fixed point. What its name? It's called fulcrum. And it is affected by two forces. You exert effort force, and what is the resulted force after exerting your effort? The resistance force. So the lever is a rigid bar, straight or curved, rotates around fixed point called fulcrum, and is affected by two forces, effort force and resistance force. Let's move to know the structure of any lever. Actually, it consists of three parts. The first one, fulcrum. The fulcrum here, guys, it's a fixed point where the bar rotates around it. And don't forget, it's implies by what? By letter O. Second structure, which is the effort force. You exert this force. So it is a force that is exerted by a person to equilibrate the resistance. And what is the symbol? Letter F. The third one, the resistance force. This force is resulted from the weight of the body that you want to move. And it's symbolized by which letter? Letter R. So we have three structures, fulcrum, resistance, and effort force. Let's move to know some examples of levers. We have here seesaw, crowbar, scissors. Next, bottle opener, nutcracker, and stapler. Wheelbarrow, manual broom, and ice or sweet holder. Now let's move to know some types of levers. Actually, we have three types of levers. The first one, the first class lever. How we will know if this lever is from first or second or third class lever? From the position of the fulcrum or resistance or the effort of force. If you find the fulcrum is located between the effort force and the resistance force, it will be first class lever. So any first class lever, they are the levers that have the fulcrum O between the effort force and resistance force. Here we have some examples of first class lever, the water pump. This is the location of the fixed point. Here they, we have fulcrum. And the place of your hand you exert the effort force, so it's F. And here we have the resulted force, which is the resistance force. In the pliers, here we have fulcrum, and here we have effort force, and here the resistance force. In the crowbar, we have fulcrum, is located between the effort force and resistance force. So it's from first class level. In the seesaw, we have here the fulcrum, and you exert your effort force, and here we have the resistance force. In the pincers, here we have the fulcrum, and you exert the effort is located here, 
and here we have the resistance force. In the hammer claw, we have here, this is the position of the fulcrum, and you exert your effort in here, and this is the resistance force. Here we have some examples of first class levers, nail clippers, scissors, and the paddle. Let's move to the second type, the second class lever. Here we have the resistance is located between the fulcrum and the effort force. So any second class lever, R, is located between O and F. They are the levers that have resistance force between effort and fulcrum. We have some examples of second class lever. We have the bottle opener. Here, this is the location of the resistance. And here we have fulcrum. This is the fixed point. And the place of your effort is located here. And in nutcracker, we have this position for fulcrum. And we have here the location of resistance force. And you exert the effort force, the place of your hand. In the stapler, we have here the fulcrum is located here. And this is the place of the resistance force. And here you exert your effort force. So R is located between effort and fulcrum. In the wheelbarrow, we have here, this is the fulcrum. It is a fixed point and you exert the effort here. And we have the location of the resistance is located between the effort and fulcrum. So all of them from second class level. Let's know now the third class level. If you find the effort force is located between the resistance and fulcrum, it's considered from third class level. Let's see some examples of third class level. The ice holder here, this is the location of the fulcrum and you exert, you exert the effort here and here, this is a resistance force. In manual broom, you exert your effort. And here, this is a focus point. This is a fulcrum. And here, this is a resistance force. So the effort is located between fulcrum and resistance. In sweet holder, the same like the ice holder, the effort force is located between fulcrum and resistance force. In the hockey bat, here, you exert the effort here. And this is a fixed point. And here, this is the resistance. So we find the effort between fulcrum and resistance. In tweezers, we have here, this is the location of effort force. And here, this is the fixed point, which is the fulcrum. And here, this is the resistance force. In last one fishing tool, we will find the effort force is between fulcrum and resistance force. So here, guys, we can summarize what we have covered whole the session in the keyword. Mr. Or, O for fulcrum, R for resistance, F for effort. When you find the fulcrum is located between the resistance and effort, huh, which type of levers? First, the class lever. When you find the resistance is located between the fulcrum and the effort, huh, it's a second the class lever. If you find the effort is located between fulcrum and the resistance, it will be third the class lever. Now we reach to the end of our session. Hope you understood the lesson very well. Thank you so much and see you later.